Do you know, just listening to you talk about that, I couldn't help but think about if people are making mistakes, basic mistakes like leading questions in, in a usability uh, session context, and we're not setting up those feedback mechanisms to catch those and coach people on how to develop better skills over time and muddy the findings less over time. Like you said, perfect isn't the goal here. It's, you, you're always going to make mistakes, but the, the objective should be to get better uh, with the passage of time. And there's an increasing focus on foundational or generative research going on. Just how much of this poor technique, and this is an unanswerable question, but it seems to me at least there's a risk there that the bad hygiene that is evidenced in watching someone moderate a usability session may be leaking into some of the insights that are being driven out of that foundational and generational gener generative research which has a higher, there's a higher cost of failure in insights not being accurate at that level. Yeah, for sure. I think the challenge uh, when you move to the foundational generative side is uh, it's much harder to figure out you know, what your outcome metric is. It's easier in the usability space um, to, uh, to just quantify those insights and to compare them. But, uh, but nonetheless, I think the same principles must apply, and as you're pointing out, the, the cost can be a lot greater in the foundational uh, space. So, yeah, and I think, you know, the other thing that comes to mind for me that I think is really critical in this conversation is also to recognize the limits of what we know. You know, we do have best practices. There's been some, some great research showing that skilled researchers do things in a lot of different ways. Uh, there are different opinions. I mean, we've all heard lots of different opinions uh, on some key matters. Um, and as a field, we need to figure out how can we support research to, to try to improve those best practices, to evaluate them, to turn our field into a field that is truly evidence-based. Yeah, maybe it's a cart before the, the horse, honestly, to think about how we really uh, rigorously improve practice in education and uh, in industry when we don't even necessarily know truly what, um, you know, what best practices are. I think we need to do it all at the same time. I think that's the best solution.